individual name. Not just Jet. And gentlemen, he's making his debut here this afternoon. He's 17 years of age. He's filling in for the injured Karan Tapar. Charlie Pisley. Go on, Charlie. Well done. At number two, Honeycup seven goals, Alejandro Muzio. At three, Honeycup also seven goals, Joaquin Pitaluga. And at back, his Honeycup is eight goals from Chile, Jaime Garcia Widabro. Playing for El Romanzo at zero goals, another young player from England comes out of Siren Sester. Give me a huge hand, please. At number one, Hugo Lewis. At number two, Honeycup four goals, Charlie Hambry. Three, Honeycup eight goals, Guillermo Terrera. And at back, his handicap is 10 goals from Uruguay, David Sterling. Your umpires are Tony Kite and Charles Seville, and your referee and third man is Mr. Tim Bowne. Six chuckers is the call for the Curry Packer Trophy. So far, they won that by a goal, EFG Bank Aravali. This is their first goal in the Queen's Cup. Sponsored by Cartier, and straight away, it's Jaime Rudabro for Aravali. Jaime taken on by the young Lewis out to his left. In behind him is Pitaluga, but Jaime leads the ball now for Pitaluga. It is Aravali with the call. Inside ball sent down there towards the target by Pitaluga, running onto it. Charlie, the backhand, almost there from Hambry. Stolen away by Alejandro Muzio. Aravali got the goal. Muzio, unlucky, leaves the ball behind. Several players looking for it, including Widabro on the near side. Danger here for El Romanzo. And it will be, it looks like it could be Guillermo Terrera, who takes it away for his team, El Romanzo, on the far side of the field. Now it is Sterling with Terrera, Terrera on the grey, Sterling's in behind him, in a little bit of a melee in the far side. Sterling has the ball now. Oops, he's stolen away and it is Pitaluga coming across field, Charlie, backhand by Charlie, doesn't quite come off. Now it is, look at his play from Alejandro Muzio, he's very clever with the ball, this guy. Muzio shoots toward the target, unlucky, comes off the horse, little Taken on now by, looks like it's Widabro. Jaime shoots, but he's put away out to the left and will go wide. Beautiful sunny day here at the Guards Polo Club. The weather during the week, of course, was horrendous. We have had a lot of rain. It will cut up a bit. Knock in from the El Romanzo back line. Terrera goes out to the left and Sterling decides to take the ball down to the right hand side. He looked to get a drive going there, but the ball flicked up in the air, so he had to check up. Sterling with the call. With Dabro's in there to challenge him. Now it is Terrera. That's a huge hit sent down there towards. Look at this pitch. It's Hambry's out in front. Hambry going to goal here for El Romanzo. Couldn't get the drive. Taken on now by Lewis. Is in behind for support. The ball's out to the right hand side of the goal with Dabro. What work to do? Gets a little bit onto the backhand. Turns around and will find Muzio going up there. Pitaluga. The pass by Muzio towards teammate Pitaluga. Now they're really rocking and rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Sterling goes back. It's a horse race between the pair. Pitaluga, Sterling. And St Pitaluga's called off by Alejandro Muzio. Going in there, young Lewis. Clever from Alejandro. He cuts him behind the man. He goes to goal. Will it be 1 0? Yes, it is. What a goal. Alejandro Muzio. Most ladies and gentlemen, those of you not familiar with the game, every time a goal is scored, so there's no win the ground advantage to only one side, and it is Terrera on the little grey, tries to get a hold of it, Alejandro's trying to steal it away from him, in goes this 10 goaler, that's Sterling, Sterling around the corner now, trying to get one back for El Romanzo, the umpire gets out of the way, sharp as Sterling checks up on the halfway line, Pitaluga's all over Sterling, now, Terrera, ooh. Umpire puts the ball in play. Pitaluga's in the hunt, along with Lewis. Joaquin. A little bit of a melee there now. Who's going to come away with it? It looks like it's Pitaluga who has it for Aravali. 1 0 to score. Three minutes remaining in the third chucker. In the first chucker. I think it will be. Here he comes. He's drilled it, but it's out to the left-hand side and just goes wide. Chance gone a big in there. One nil, the score remains. The clock restarts. There's three minutes remaining in the opener. Back in business with Sterling. Sterling with the ball. Muzio's all over him. 
coming in to help out his teammate is Torreira. Sterling goes across field at pace. Now, can they get something going here, El Romanso, before the end of the chaka? Sterling checks and will come inside. Pizzaluga is there to challenge him. Sterling just had to go back and get that, but he's got rid of Pizzaluga and he comes forward. He's up to the halfway line. Sterling still with the ball. He's found a big space down the Queen's ground and away he goes. It is Davis Sterling. The pass down there. Hambury will take out the man to his left. Sterling has the call. He's 60 yards out. Still in there. Pizzaluga going to challenge. Left for Hambury in behind. Goal, Hambury. Great play from Sterling. And they get the equaliser. It's all tied up at one goal a piece but it's wide it won't count 1-0 the score still as Jaime Wadobro there's a little pass out towards Alejandro Muzio on the pretty grey just checks sees where his teammates are big hit by Alejandro look at this coming through from the back of pace it is Wadobro in there with Sterling over the top from him Pizzaluga's there as well and we have a whistle as Pizzaluga and Hambury went together Elects to keep the ball. Now he lets it go on the ground. He's looking for his teammates up there. That's Torreira or Hambry. Charlie tries to come through. Stopped by Pizzaluga. The next shot out to the side. Clears it away for Aravalli. Far side. Pizzaluga. Ooh, and we have another whistle over there on the board. Jaime goes out to the right-hand side. There's the pass up front. He's trying to find Alejandro. It's not going to reach. Backhand by Charlie, looking for Torreira or Sterling. Stopped by Wadobro, good play. Pizzaluga with another backhand. Several players looking for it, and little Alejandro sneaks in there, but he was turning in front of the oncoming Lewis. And there, or equally go to the Guards Polo Club website. You'll find it there also. It's high, is it strong? Oh, that's beautiful from Sterling. And that's why he's 10 goals, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that hit, beautiful. Fantastic goal, 1-1-1 one, one, one on the scoreboard. The clock has restarted. Off they go again. Sterling's looking for it, so is. Oh, we had two men going in there on the one person. No foul. Off they go again. It is. Sterling looking for it. Backhand by Wadobro. Terreira's there to try and pick it up away from Muzio. He fakes the back. Oh, he's made a mistake. That could be dangerous. Oh, my word. Going in Wadobro. Terreira, has he got away with it? I think he may have. And Alejandro is not a happy camper. Now. He's getting. What he does. Again, it's high, but it looks out to the right a bit, and no goal. Wide. And that was a chance for 2-1. Jaime Wadobro. Clock has restarted. There goes the bell. They've played 30 seconds now. Wadobro. With the ball. He's going to try and get it as far as he can up the field. <clears throat> Before the end of the 30 seconds. Still just countering. No challenges just yet. Good work by his teammates. Taking men out in front of him. And there's Wadabro's drive up to the halfway line. Looking to find Alejandro Muzio on the grey. Wadabro comes in on the zone. Going with him was Charlie Hambury. The ball goes over to the sideboard. Hits the boards. There's the end of the first, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen a couple of goals here. <clears throat> we restart on the far side with a throw in. And the ball is in play. Sterling looks to get the break for El Romanzo. Look at this, the 10 goal has it. Alejandro Muccio is chasing him hard, but Sterling is flying. He's three or four lengths clear of Alejandro Muccio. Sterling to go to goal to make it two goals to one. It is David Sterling. What a goal. Happy days, El Romanzo. It's two goals to one. Sterling the scorer. Ten. Off they go. Lewis, Terreira, El Romanzo have it. Widobro looked for the hook. 
Near side taken on by Terreira, who's got the break here. Good rook by Luz, takes out Alejandro Muzio. And it's Terreira who goes to goal this time. He's eight goals, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this, here's another one for El Romanzo. Beautifully done. Very good teamwork. It's three goals to one. From EFG Bank Aravali. Off they go. Again, it is Sterling. He's got the better of Alejandro in behind him. And Sterling lets this horse run. He can rock and roll. We've seen it a moment ago. And he's away. He goes again. Look at this. Sterling going in there. Oh, he's left it behind. It's out to the right-hand side. Charlie Hambury's there as well. Ooh, we have a whistle. With Dobro. There's the drive. Up front, looking for Charlie. Won't reach him. Will it just? Charlie had to reach back. He couldn't get it. Who has it now? Ooh, as with Dobro went across, in went Charlie Hambry, and the whistle has gone again. He put it on the ground, he tried to stop it, but they can't. The goal is good from Sterling. It's four goals to one now, El Romanzo. Can he... They line up again. Oh my word, here we go again. Sterling out of the air on the volley. Downfield he goes. He looked around to see where the goal was. He had to reach back, couldn't control it. Jaime Wadabro has it now for Aravali. He checks, turns, brings it around. Love to drive infield, looking for Alejandro Muzio. Across field he goes now. Alejandro will check up to see where Jaime is. He's flying up the centre. Oh, he looked for a big one, didn't get a hold of it. Pitalugas there as well. He won't get it. And Sterling wheels that horse around. Gets a hold of the ball for El Romanzo. The agility of these horses is incredible as Sterling has been pressured by Alejandro Muzio in behind. But David Sterling now just checks up. He has got Puedabro to his left. He knows that Muzio's in behind him. He zigzags his way there. The horse kicks it forward. Terreira's there, hooked out of it by Alejandro, who steals the ball, but the umpire will bring him back. Would in favour of El Romanzo. It's from 40 yards. And gentlemen, little development there. The umpire had said play. He did play the ball, but he was tapping it. It was intentional, unintentional rather, from... Anyway, I'll tell you in a minute. Hambry! No! Muzio brings it around. Terrera, clever from Muzio again. Flicks it in behind Terrera. Now he tries to set sail. Up front goes Charlie Pidgeley, with Dobro's there as well. In behind him, Joaquin Pitaluga. It's he who takes control. He flicks it out to his right and leaves Hambry behind. Muzio will take him out of the play. Pitaluga, lofted drive, out to the right-hand side. Over there is Charlie, along with Alejandro. So too Charlie Pidgeley. Muzio tries to come in and get a hold of the ball on the board. Little backhand infield looking for Pitaluga. Pitaluga looking to make it four goals to two here. Near side shot by Pitaluga, stopped by Sterling. Sterling steals it away, comes across his own goal mount and gets the driver up front looking for teammate Charlie Hambry. How oh, correction is that? Lute no, knows Hambry. Hambry has the call. In behind Sterling says leave it. The whole what a steal from Pitaluga. Back inside, he sends it. Looks to find with Dobro. Far side, Aravali fighting back here at the end of the second chakra. Still with, with Dobro. Sterling chasing. Next shot with Dobro sent down there towards his number three. And that was Pitaluga, but it's stopped by Hambry. Correction, stopped by Terreira. Terreira comes forward. El Romanzo have the ball. 4 1 to score. And it's Guillermo Terreira with a huge big drive. El Romanzo looking to make it number five here. Pisley goes back to defend. It's Terreira far side. Pidgeley's catching him. Pidgeley, Terreira. He tries to cut inside Pidgeley. Well played, Pidgeley, because he got rid of Terreira. But here comes Hambry. El Romanzo still coming forward. Looking for number five, Charlie Hambry. The rest don't have a play. It's Charlie's ball. Ball, has he stolen it? I think he has. It is... Alejandro Muzio with the call, taken on now by his teammate Wadabro. What a run of play, ladies and gentlemen, I need a drink. Wadabro still there with the ball, coming forward. In behind him, Charlie Hambry. Now we will be Hugo Luz, but it's taken off his, the end of his Malapai. Alejandro Muzio, he looked for the big drive up towards Charlie, who was free. And we have an umpire's whistle, ladies and gentlemen, as Alejandro went forward. Look, 60 yards and 4-2, here he goes. It's along the ground, can they stop it? It's gone wide. 
Unlucky, four goals to one, the score remains. Sterling, beautiful strike, outfield, looking for Torreira on a fresh one. Torreira, the bounce got him, left it behind. Charlie Hambry on the near side, nice pick up by Charlie. He's up to the halfway line, he just checks in there as it looks, oh my word, going in. Torreira, first Uruguayan player to make that 10 goal handicap. Here he comes from 60 yards. This time it's along the ground. They can stop it. What a stop by Muzio. What a night for the ball coming at you at 70 miles an hour. Near side, taken on far side by Torreira. Muzio challenges the backhand, doesn't quite reach Sterling. He got the hook on, on with Dabro. Sterling steals the ball away from Jaime. Sterling going to goal. He's 30, 40 yards out. In comes Charlie, goes over the top with oh, unlucky for Muzio. Now it's Pitalugo tries to bring it away. Charlie Pidgey's in the hunt as well. Hambry steals it away from all of them. Still with Charlie, there's the backhand, doesn't quite get what he wants on it, they're in a mess, a mess in behind, they all want a piece of it, no one's getting it. The ball's kicked out, Pitaluga finally comes away with the ball now, and it is EFG Bank, Aravali with the ball, and Joaquin Pitaluga. Muzio takes out St Terreira, Pitaluga slows it down, waits for his teammates to get organised up front, he's on the halfway line, 30 seconds remaining, still with Pitaluga. Downfield he goes, Joaquin Pitaluga, now he tries to put on the pace and go down towards the target. It's still with Pitaluga, he's going to go. Will it be 4-2, next shot required or a tail shot? Still with Pitaluga, the shot by Pitaluga, what's he done? Wide. And that will end the chucker, ladies and gentlemen, very much. El Romanzo are playing Aravalli, 4-1 in favour of El Romanzo, who are in the white colours. As David Sterling brings the ball into play for El Romanzo. Muzio as ever waits. Will dribble this forward. Muzio as ever goes into challenge him. Torreira takes him out of the equation. Sterling, Muzio along the, around the back, the side door. The ball is left now for Torreira. The hit by Torreira gets deflected. In comes with Dobro with Sterling who flicks it forward and gets to right away. Still with Sterling, there's the drive down to the target. Hambry's up there with Pitaluga, the ball's out to the left-hand side. Hambry with a backhand in towards the target. Oh, this could be dangerous here. Alejandro comes around, gets the ball, but it's gone over. To, he hit it, I think, over the back line. And if that's the case, or did it go over from Charlie's initial hit? No, it's a knock-in. Hit out, Aravali. With Dobro from Chile. Down the side he takes it. He has room to manoeuvre here. Still with, with Dobro. He's cut. Oh, he, he tried to cut inside there. And no interference, the umpire say. And Sterling steals the ball back for El Romanzo. Sterling has the call. Call up. Oh, my word, it's all happening now. Which is 60 yards for Sterling to make it 5-1. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, 40 yards, penalty is perfect from Sterling. It's five goals to one now, El a couple of minutes gone to third. Right, what's going to happen now from, El from Aravalli? Pitaluga, taking it forward. Hambry gets the hook on Pitaluga, it's done well. Lewis comes in also, Torreira. Torreira trying to get the break, the right off from Alejandro is very strong indeed from the little man. The backhand finds Weed Abro. Up front goes Charlie Pidgey looking for a pass. With Abro retains possession. In behind him is Alejandro Muzio, but it is Jaime Wadabro with the call. There's the pass in field, doesn't come off. Great backhand by Charlie, and Wadabro has work to do. He goes back to get the ball in front of Sterling. Backhand sent out to the side, will be met by Pitaluga. Sterling, Pitaluga didn't have any play, it was Sterling's line. Clever play from Sterling, flicks it away from the man. And the second man, look at this, going downfield, can he control it on the volley? Yes, he can, it's still with Sterling. The stick work is incredible, he's going to goal. Look at this, horse run! It's five goals to one, and now it's going to be six. Look at that from Sterling, wow, what a goal, ladies and gentlemen. The acceleration was immediate. Off they go. Sterling has it again. Left for Torreira. 
Guillermo flicks the pass, Pitaluga. Down the center of the ground he goes. He's looking for space. He's finding gaps down there. The ball's left behind, and again, Sterling is there. But in behind him was Alejandro Muzio. And the spot hit Aravari. With Abro. Ooh, Charlie's stolen it, has he? He's got away with Jaime. Now he has work to do because Charlie's there to challenge him. He flicks it around the corner. Charlie's all over him. Like a cheap suit, as they say. And it'll, it'll be Alejandro Muzio. Now, can he do something? He's got Sterling in front of him. In behind him is Gonzalo Guillermo Terreira. Alejandro has the ball. He's into the opposition half. He couldn't control the bounce. And it is Terreira who gets it back for El Romanzo. Guillermo, down the far side now. Let's this horse little run a little bit. Up there towards Charlie. Will it reach? With Abro's there with the backhand. Stops him from going forward. Into the centre it goes. Coming forward from the back is Alejandro Muzio. He's got a big drive now. Lewis goes to the persuader. Can he get one back for Oravalli? It is Alejandro Muzio. Down the Queen's ground he goes. He's out to the left-hand side. A little cut shot from Muzio required. He shoots. What's he done? Go for Muzio. Beautifully done. And they get one back. One or two. So well done to all the guys, all the staff. The ball is in play again. Terreira taken on by Huidobro. Around the corner he goes. Sterling's in behind, also in there. It is Muzio. Sterling gets control again for El Romanzo. They come forward. They're hit by Sterling. Only as far as Pitaluga. Flicks it around on the near side. The left-hand side of the horse. Charlie was there as well. Wadabro loses the ball to Terreira. It's El Romanzo come forward again. Guillermo Terreira cuts in field now. He's sliding through the pair of them there like a slippery snake. It's still Terreira, but oh, he's lost it. There's a melee. Pidgeley's in the hunt there. Terreira still has the ball. How on earth he has it? I never know. But now it's Sterling. Sterling goes forward. He's found space. Sterling to go and make it seven goals to one, to two even. Sterling in the goal mouth, stolen away by Pitaluga. And it is Aravalli who come away with the ball. Have they got it still? Yes, they have. And now it's Muzio, the goal scorer. What a defensive play here by Aravalli. Well done to those guys. Muzio, look for a big one. It didn't come off. With Abro was home and hose. Sterling checks that mare up and it's Sterling who goes down downfield. There's the pass towards Charlie Hambury. Charlie for number seven. Hambury goes to goal. Charlie Hambury, go! Well, and take a little stroll down into the middle of the ground and stump as many divots as you can find. Off we go again. Can Aravalli get one back? The little man has it. That's Muzio. Far side. He's lost control. Pitaluga, Muzio gets it back. 30 seconds. Pitaluga is there again. Out to the side it goes. Terreira in there with Muzio as Wadabro came forward. And there's the end of the third, ladies and gentlemen. Ali for an infringement at the end of the third, Chaka. Jaime Wadabro will bring it forward for Aravali. Jaime cuts out to his right hand side. Charlie Hambury looks to challenge. There's a hit by Char by ha by you know, with Dabro going towards the goal. It's going on the goal line. Terreira's in there. It's in the goal mouth. It's a goal, ladies and gentlemen. What a start! The perfect start to for Aravalli. It was Jaime with Dabro. It snuck over the goal line. There was probably an inch to spare, if that. They line up again. In goes the ball. Hambury. Tries to bring it around. Now it's Terreira. And we have a whistle. <coughs> In play, Pitaluga, Aravalli win the lineup. Pitaluga with the call. In behind him, Hambry. Pitaluga tries to go past Sterling. The two eyeball each other down the Queen's ground. The back come by Sterling, turns it around with Dobros there for. His team, Aravalli, out to the side, he takes it. We'll try and bring it around now if he can. With Dabro's made good space here, ladies and gentlemen. He's making, looking to make a seven goals to four. Jaime with Dabro. With Dabro goes to goal. Oh, that flick in there. Has he got it? Yes, he has. What a goal. Aravalli on the comeback trail here. Seven four now. Lining up again. The far side of the field. Off they go. Hambry looking to get the break here. 
Hambry, both sides of the horse being used by Charlie. Wadobro's backhand is missed. In comes Muzio. His backhand doesn't quite come off. He was looking for Charlie Pishley there. He's taken on by Lewis, and the ball now is Sterling. You had to reach, and the whistle again has blown. David Sterling taps it forward, looking for space. He's found some. He lets the horse run. He checks up. He's left the ball behind, but his man is there. That's Terrera. Takes control from distance. Terrera. Unlucky. Deflected. The ball now coming forward, and we have a whistle again. I think that ball may have struck Ali. <coughs> Roll in, off we go. Pitaluga flicks it forward, tries to get the break. Pitaluga now, Aravalli come forward again. Seven goals to four, Pitaluga being hunted down by Sterling. Still with Joaquin Pitaluga over the top on the near side. In comes Terreira, backhand by Terreira. Not much on to that, and it'll be Alejandro Muzio who gets a hold of it now. Aravalli still coming forward. He just slowed it down a tad. The challenge coming from Hambury. Now he goes down the side, out to his left-hand side. Now looking pretty good to go to goal here. Oh, it's been stopped, but it'll be Wadabro. He sends it up there again. The ball's kicked out to the right. Who's there now? Lewis goes over the top in the corner. They all want a piece of it, and it's Sterling who gets a hold of it. David Sterling in a defensive role. The number four in the shirt brings it forward. Huge big drive by Sterling's looking for Lewis. Come on, son, make a name for yourself. Hugo Lewis from Sirencester. Down the Queen ground he goes. He got control of the bouncing ball beautifully. Charlie Hambry goes back. The two young ones go together. Backhand by Hambry. Has he done enough? Picked up by Charlie Hambry. Oh, my word. The back it's eight. The four, four goal difference. Three minutes remaining in the fourth. Off they go again. The steal from Alejandro Muzio, looking to make it 8-5. Down the field he goes, Sterling's catching him in behind. Muzio flicks it forward towards the target. Sterling's catching him! Muzio! Go, Muzio! Brilliant stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely sensational. And it's eight goals to five. Aravalia back in the hunt. Just wait on the goal scorer to get back into the lineup. Alejandro Muzio, it's he who has the ball again. For Aravalli, checks and turns, brings it around. Good work by Wadobro, takes out Sterling to his left. There's the pass up front, not a whole lot onto it. Sterling comes in and steals it away. Checks, brings it around the corner under the horse's neck. Sterling across field again, Muzio's chasing him. We'll put pressure on him now, deep in the El Romanzo half of the field. Sterling still dribbling it around, trying to get the go forward and the big hit. Still with Sterling, Muzio's there, the ball's left behind now for Terreira. He comes inside and makes a little bit of space for himself. He's low, oh no, he still has it. The horse kicked it forward. Pitaluga puts the muckers on him. Charlie's there as well, and it'll be with Abro, correction. Muzio, who reaches out, gets a hold of it. He looks to try and find some space. Still with Muzio, with the ball. Aravalli, it's all slow, but sure. And we have a... Sterling. <clears throat> with the ball. There's the drive along the ground, looking for Terreira. <clears throat> Pardon me, stopped by Wadobro. Oh. Backhand beautifully done by Muzio, and he's found his man, that's Pitaluga, looking to make it 8-6. He's out to the left-hand side of the goal. Has he given it too much? It's a big cut shot for, for Pitaluga. Pitaluga across the goal, wide. Oh my word, and that was a big chance for 8-6. Well, less than a minute remaining in the fourth. Great play from Muzio, great awareness to find Pitaluga. A lot of players changing, knock in, to be taken by Sterling, who brings it forward. Pelon. Still there with the ball. He's left a lot of them in behind. Still with Sterling. Pisley's in there chasing. Sterling has the call. 
Still with Sterling, out of the air from Sterling. Oh my word, look at this horse run. He's riding a rocket. It's David Sterling, he's past them all. He's left them for dead. He's going for gold. He's looking for nine gold. Oh, it's on the go. Back out, Pitaluga. What a play by Pitaluga on the bell. Fantastic from Pitaluga. And Charlie Humbry brings the ball around. Looking to make it number nine. He stopped in his tracks. They're all in there with Dobros in there as well. Backhand by with Dobro. Brilliant defense from Aravalli. Wow, Sterling again, another backhand. Goes over the back line and wide. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen, please. Charles Siebel it is. They say play. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on to your hats. 8-5. Three goals of difference. Far from over this game of polo, believe me. As Swedobro brings it back into play. There's the hit outfield. Looking to find his teammate over there. It doesn't reach his mate, his, his teammate, and the backhand. Turned around. Sterling there to challenge. With Alejandro Muccio, Sterling has the ball. Danger here for Aravalli. Muccio tries to stop him. He's done well. He's stolen it away from the 10 goaler. Muccio to the far side of the field, gets it out of danger and away from the goal. Sterling goes in there, wanting it back. Muccio down the side. He likes to rock and roll on this little black horse, ladies and gentlemen. It has a great acceleration. Sterling's now catching Muccio at the moment. And it's Alejandro Muccio. The approach is looking pretty good out to the right-hand side a little bit. Angle shot required by Muccio. Sterling gets the hook. In comes Herrera on the grey with Pizzoluga to challenge him. He turns in front of the oncoming player, but he's got away with that now. And it is Terrera who comes down the side. El Romanzo come forward. Charlie's gone up looking for a pass. Terrera has the call. He's up to the halfway line already. Flat to the boards. Look at this to control the stick work. Fantastic. And there's the pass up towards Hambury. Unlucky off the horse. Pitaluga gets a little background. Backhand. Who's going to turn for Sterling? The agility and the speed of these horses. Absolutely incredible, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at sensational uh, equine Agility here, just amazing. It's still with Sterling and the ball. Muzio the side door. He can't get a hold of it. Left now for Terrera. He might have a shot from distance. He shoots for goal. Up front is Hugo Lewis. Out to the left. Can he get the ball? Oh, it's wide. And he wasn't far away. <laughs> Two minutes gone. In the fifth. 8-5. Chances at both ends. With Dobro. The Chilean sends it under the horse's neck and finds Pitaluga. Sterling will go in and challenge him immediately. Now has Sterling stolen it? Stolen it. Terrera is in the mix. Sterling has it now. And we have a whistle from the umpire in. <coughs> for El Romanzo to increase the lead. With Dobro. The hit up to the halfway line. Turning onto a beautiful feed, the hand to Y again, the coordination, incredible from Sterling. Sterling now, can he control the bouncing ball? Yes, he can so far. With Dobro with the right off. Sterling shoots, what a shot. Oh my word, that's why he's 10 goals, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Sensational from Sterling, 9-5. Rolling, far side. Muzio gets it from the pack, trying to make inroads into this El Romanzo lead. With Dobro's drive up towards Muzio. Sterling sneaks around the side there. Sterling. Let's a goal on the ground, a big drive by David Sterling. Looks for Pishley and finds him. Pishley takes Pitaluga out of the equation. Pishley goes, oh, should, correction, Hambury goes to goal. Charlie Hambury, Hambury for 10, has he got it? Yes, he has. Brilliant from Charlie Hambury. Absolutely sensational. And it is El Mormanso who increased the lead now to five goals again. Line up. Can they get a little comeback goal here? It is. Far side. Looks like it's Wadabro. Going to go out to the left hand side. He looked for a cut shot, didn't quite come off, and it will be Pitaluga. Far side. He finds Jaime with Dobro. Up to front goes 
Oh, he looked for a pass, didn't get a hold of it. Now it is around the corner. Great work again from Charlie Hambury. Look at this from Hambury. He's stroking the ball like a ten goaler. Still with Charlie, looking to make it number 11. With Darbros chasing him, with Darbros catching him. Hambury shot inside, couldn't come off. Terrera's shot comes. No idea where it's gone. It's gone wide. Out to the left and wide. Several players will change mounts. The umpire has said play. They don't have to wait. Pitaluga wants a mallet. He's out of the play behind the goal as, Ham as Pedobro takes it forward. Jaime through the gap. Far side. Still there. Terry taking Terrera with him. The ball's left behind. Little bit of a melee in the far side. Pitaluga tries to get going, can't. Terrera is and Lewis change horses. Just taps it, keeps possession till his teammates come back. Sterling's in behind him now. Terrera goes down the side. Now comes infield. Pitaluga can't touch it. Terrera. Unlucky, comes off the horse, a little flick around from Alejandro Muzio. Great play from Muzio. Hooked out of the play by Charlie Hambury, who's played out of his socks here this afternoon. Big drive by Wadobro, sent up towards Charlie Pishley. Come on, Charlie, here he goes. Pishley now, looks for a big drive. Oh, he couldn't control the bouncing ball. The ball just left behind, and Sterling will go in there and flick it around the corner and take it upfield. Now he sends it upfield now for who's up there. It looks like it is... Lewis who comes correction, Terrera has the goal, Terrera going to goal, over the top from Terrera, Charlie comes back to defend, brings it across field now, can he get something going here for Aravalli, Charlie just couldn't get the next hit, Sterling goes over the top, they're all missing it, in comes, oh my word, missed again, Hambry's there, they're all there, Sterling Shaw, my word, hang on, I'll have a go myself. As they check up and turn around the corner, it is Alejandro Muzio with the ball, has he left it behind? No, he has it, thank goodness. Come on, Alejandro, get going here. Uh, El Romanzo on the chase here. Sterling's in behind him. Muzio with the call. Sterling looks for the backhand. Backed up by Charlie Pishley. Gets a little bit onto it. Over the top from Lewis. Picked up by Wittobro, who drills it up. Towards his teammate up there, Pitaluga. Surely, Pitaluga for 10-6. 30 seconds remaining. Pitaluga, goal. Yes, it is, finally. El Romanzo looking for their second win of the competition. But it's Aravalli who have the call in the shape of Hernan Muzio, Alejandro Muzio. Over the top from Alejandro. Pitaluga takes control on the near side. Joaquin Pitaluga flicks it inside. Traffic in front coming in now. I think it was Charlie with the next shot. Over to the boards. Backhand by Muzio. Sent infield. They come across field. Now it's Suedobro who has the call. Jaime with Charlie to his left. Lots of traffic in front of Jaime. He cuts back around the back. Nice play. While Dobro, but it's out to the left, deflected. He gets it back. Takes it over into the corner again. And I think it may have gone over the back line and wide. It has. Knock in uh, to El Romanzo. Sterling will bring it forward. David Sterling, little lofted pass towards his teammate, that's Terrera, perfect pass. Terrera with Muzio trying to steal the ball away. Sterling comes in from the back and says, I'll take that. Very, thank you very much, guys. Sterling lets the horse run now. Look at this. Sterling has left the ball behind, unusually for him. The backhand turns it around. Here comes uh, Muzio with the call. Muzio on the halfway line. Pishley's gone up looking for the pass. And there it is. Come on, Charlie. Pishley going to goal. Oh, a horrible bounce as he went to hit it. How unlucky was that? And as... The ball settles down. It is Terrera with the backhand. Not much onto it from Terrera. Charlie's there again. Gets a little backhand sent in field. Nicely done. 
Who's there now? Muzio tries to steal it away from Terrera. Back in field again by Muzio. Mullis waving and all kinds going on out there. It's like the Wild West. So who has it now? It is Sterling with the ball. Eyeballs Muzio. There's the pass from a standstill. Outfield towards Charlie. Big drive by Sterling. Charlie can't get a hold of it. Terrera can, and he comes through a pace, but Muzio was in behind him. And it looked like Muzio yards out, maybe more. With Dobro. He's had a go. It's a huge drive, deflected by Sterling out to the side. Next shot by Sterling to the boards. Peter Luger will challenge him. They check up, slow down. Sterling tries to bring it around. He's done so. Still there. Muzio's in the hunt as well. Still with Sterling. He has the right away. Muzio can't touch it yet. And we have a whistle. David Sterling from the halfway line and El Romanzo. Along the ground, he lets it go first time, looking for his teammates up there. Around the corner from Muzio. Can he get something going here? Down the side he goes. Muzio lets the horse run. Sterling's there to defend him. Alejandro Muzio, angle shot, sent down to the right hand side of the goal. Up there also is Pitaluga. Sterling comes in at Pitaluga. Pitaluga, but we have a whistle. Sterling. Still there, goes past Muzio. Still with Sterling, lost control. Muzio gets it back. Turning around, Muzio has the call. Hambury's back, Sterling's back. There's three black shirts in a row behind Muzio as Jaime with double takes control. Infield he goes. Angle shot towards goal by Jaime, but it's out to the left and will go wide. He tried to get the cut shot in there. Couldn't get enough angle. Three minutes remaining, four goals of difference. It's going to be hard work for Aravalli now. Terrera back in play for El Romanzo. Look for a big one, didn't get a hold of it. Muzio will go in and try and steal it off him. He does. Alejandro. Around the corner, Terrera. Is all over him. Backhand Terrera looking to find his man over there. That's Sterling. Pitaluga gets it though for Aravalli. Sterling. Up the boards, he sends it. With Dobro. Sends it back to where it came from. A little bit more in field perhaps. Pitaluga from distance shoots. This could be dangerous. Charlie Pisley's got first run on Sterling. In front of the goal, Charlie Pisley. Go, Pisley! Wow, well done, Charlie. He's made his debut this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a off they go. Sterling gets it. Aravalli needed to win the lineup. The backhand by Sterling. Pitaluga's shot comes off. Charlie's horse. Hambry has the call. He was called off by Terrera. 60 yards for Sterling. He's put it high, he's put it straight. How oh, beautiful again from Sterling. And that will seal the day, ladies and gentlemen. El Line up again. Pitaluga. Let's it go, first time. Looking for Charlie up there with Dobro from distance. The ball goes down, Charlie Pizzi goes in there with Lewis. Lewis little backhand, well done, Hugo. Backhand again by, by Charlie Hambury, nicely played. Peter Lucas backhand in field, it's heading out to the left hand side. With Dobros there, can he get the hit? It's flicked in by Alejandro Muzio. Oh, it's all too little, too late, ladies and gentlemen. It's 11 goals to win. We will have a presentation after this, so you're welcome to stay for the presentation. Please do so.
as soon as the players go back to the pony lines and get themselves dressed down, what have you, Lewis and Pidgeley go together, balls left behind, in comes Torreira, there's the pass, downfield for Charlie Hambry, but there's the hooter ladies and gentlemen, there's the end of the chucker, the end of the match, and give me a huge chant please. Hello <laughs> also 11, Aravalli 8, we'll be back with the presentation in a few moments, thank you all very much. Glenn to present the prize, the Kerry Parker Trophy, on her behalf. Glenn, a great family friend of the Parker family, so thank you, Glenn, for that. We're just waiting on the other team to come forward, the successful El Romanzo team. He could not play today for his team, Aravalli. And as I said earlier, we wish Karan a speedy recovery. I think we're all set, are we, guys? Charlie is coming up. Oh, here he is, he's there. He's jumping the fence, he's gonna get a lift up. Thanks, Charlie. Well, we've had a wonderful day's polo here at the Guards Polo Club and indeed this morning at Cowd Park. Great win for the Fox and Hounds team. Right, guys, we'll do the umpires first. Please come forward. Give, but first of all, guys, can I ask you to give these two teams a huge hand? EFG Bank Aravalli and El Romanzo. Give me a big hand there, guys. Thank you all very much. And our two umpires, Oliver Ellis and Charles, I should say, Tony Kite and Charles Seville. Come on, Kaidi, out you come. Thank you, Tony. And our referee and third man was Mr. Tim Bound. Thank you, Tim. And the runners up are EFG Bank Caravalli. And I'm going to call him out first because he made his debut and he also scored a goal. Give him a big hand. Charlie Pisley. Well done, Charlie. Many congratulations, Charlie. Well done. Great credit to you. At number two, we had Alejandro Muzio. Well done, Alejandro. Bad luck. At number three, we had Joaquin Pitaluga. Well played, Joaquin. <clears throat> and at the back, we had Jaime Garcia Widabro. Well done, Jaime. We got a crazy lady in the roll box. <laughs> but the winners of the Kerry Packer Trophy for 2014 are El Romanzo. And if their captain can please come forward, give me a huge hand, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie Hambury, well played, Charlie. Well done, many congratulations, Charlie. He receives the, Rose Packer, the Kerry Packer Trophy from Glenn Gilmore on behalf of Ross Packer. Handshake from Karen Tapper and indeed his dad. At number one, big hand again please for another young English player, Hugo Lewis, well played Hugo. Many congratulations. At number three, we had Guillermo Terrera, well played Guillermo. Many congratulations. <laughs> and last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, he was outstanding here this afternoon on 10 goals. David Sterling, well played, David. <laughs> That's it from the Guards Polo Club, ladies and gentlemen, but don't forget, we're here again tomorrow. And don't forget Polo Cam are live streaming all of the Queen's Cup games from all around the country, wherever they're played, Billing Bear Park, Cowell Park, you name it, we're there. So on behalf of everybody here at Gars Polo Club and indeed Polo Cam, have a safe trip home. Thank you all very much for your attention and we'll see you.
tomorrow. Good night.